All right, so after a battle against Grand Fenrir, uh, we're now onwards to a new chapter, to a new cute little village. So much. And now, and also there was just a villager with a barrel on his head. Yep. <laughs> Tiny barrel, no but a barrel nonetheless. No one, no one Final Fantasy for retail at all, though. Yep. Original Japanese Final Fantasy Welcome for you, not American Final Thank Fantasy. Thank you for your help. Of course. I'm going to go see my uncle yep. now. Take care. Not sure if that was YouTube's compression or not, but it looked like Saronia had uh, oh, had a scar on her uh, left cheek. I, just the whole of the time. I think that was I think that was just a weird bug. Huh? Then does that mean there's a powerful mirage hmm. here in Saronia? There is a close. Keep yep. An there's a open. boss monster. Because hey, there's always the boss monsters. I you gotten kind of quiet. I think you. I think you. Oh. It's so cold. I mean, don't you have that hand warmer thing that the innkeeper gave you? He's not there. Yeah. That cat, though. I'm sorry. That is a cute cat. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. Why are you apologizing to a cat? <laughs> but you should have seen the look on its face. It scared the Hulk out of me. You know, <laughs> you'd probably be able to conserve more body heat if you weren't in your giant form. Try to learn more about the place. Uh, compared to your your Lilykin form. If we raise our yes, there's a... We can spend the rest of our lives. I've got to get cracking up. Yeah, this is just a uh, to continue the story. You got to talk to people. You have to talk to like three specific people, I think. And then you start to realize that there's something weird about this town. Just a little. Just a little. Yeah. Uh, basically, citizens have to. Uh, do good things to get to the uh, to get a higher rank in the in the village. And if they don't, well, it's to the shanty town to you, boys. Yep, and this is, I believe, the shanty town. We are can't we in the night part of town. Oh yeah, okay. Also, there are those. I, I like how there's just two Moogles hanging out up there having a conversation. Also, that's a, that's a sheep. That is that is a weird ass sheep. It's like a giant cube. Normally, I wouldn't give two <laughs> or maybe like how sheep work in the World of Final Fantasy universe is that their wool is stacked on top of them. Head down this way, and you'll like find a stack of wool going on up there. This, the, that, again, this, the sheep uh, is just a weird looking sheep. I'm still impressed you still have Choco Chick. If someone uh, isn't able to raise their civic you've, you've kept Choco Chick for this long. I know. How can it be so different from the next road over? Uh, I think he gets replaced by oh, something right. that gets caught in the next part, I think. Oh, cool, cool. I'm hoping that my uh, I'm hoping that my, my phone vibrating didn't get caught on the capture uh, on the in the audio capture because uh, it was on my desk. Why don't we see if we can get to that thing guy about the where my microphone is? I'm probably wasting my breath, but try to watch what you say around here. Uh, sure. Looks like the thing's manor is at the very tip of the top of the town. Let's move. I hate you so much, Tama. I hate you so no, much. Is it? Is it? Is it that speech impediment? It's the speech impediment. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I don't find it offensive. But then again, I'm also that guy who like uh, who's perfectly fine with Teddy. So I don't it's wonder if we'll see it this part, but I should point out something here if we see it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, that's actually... Uh, if I ever ran oh yeah, you can uh, you can hopefully... Re yeah, uh, <laughs> don't, don't do not do that, Hallie. All you gotta do is turn tall and you can get the treasure chest. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, I've done that too, where I've spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get a treasure chest, <laughs> only to realize you just gotta be a giant to pick it up. Oh, that, that is. You see that wall at the back? It has uh, the pictures of the shells in the fan? Yeah. That's 
that's a puzzle for the next dungeon, which I never do on camera. A puzzle? <laughs> yeah, I'll explain it more in about two parts time, but keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. And I will come back for that chest eventually. I'm just having a bit of an idiot mom. Yeah, yeah, you had a brain fart. I, I I have that too, where I don't realize you can just turn because I forget like, oh, you're tall enough to reach the treasure chest. This is a cute little thing. Cause this game is all about being cute. Um, I think we talked about it last time. Saroni is from Final Fantasy three, right? Is that Refia? Yep. No, Refia. I keep calling her Sor No, Saroni is the village. Refia is that girl's name. They giving you trouble? I already told them that the uh, is because one big thing with Final Fantasy 3 was not only did you have a party of four, but you always kept you getting a fifth guest character throughout the game. What? Well, you see, sir, and if I'm remembering right, Refia was one of those guest characters. Of Sarah of Cornelia. Hey. Have a look for yourselves. That's the Cornelian uh, seal. Also the fact of, I think a lot of those guest characters also die, kind of like what happens in 2. Practically our neighbors. Yeah, you tell them, Rain. They either die or they just disappear to do other stuff. They got some kind of royal Cornelia thing with them. What? You sure? Beats me. You really it's that the term. If I'm a member of three, right, and it's been a while since I've played three, this entire section is actually based on something that actually does happen in three. Mm hmm. So, something like that. The Thane says he'll see you. Let's go, Refia. Huh? Hey. The girl stays here. Refia is part of our entourage. That's right. She just anteceded us. What? Toodaloo. Thank you for uh. always here for me. No big deal. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lie. We were all heading I like Refia. What? Just the same direction. Yeah, that's just weird, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. Hmm. And. They're now in the throne throne room of the Thane of Sir, of Saronia. You must be the giant emissaries from Cornelia. And oh, there's uh, some yes. nice details of the air, the, the that's the entire area. For example, those I'm statues of the birds. That's, that's Garuda. Garuda from Final Fantasy III, which yes, is the boss that you actually fight at this point. In, yeah, that's uh, in Final Fantasy III. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the picture in the background, it's a dragoon. Because this town was a dragoon town. It's me, your uncle. No, you are not Uncle Taka. Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> then I was right. If you've managed to see through this facade, then there's no mistake. You are a medium. Yes, I was wise to make sure you left town, and to ensure that you never. Oh returned. yes, the mediums are kind Where's of a big Uncle thing Taka? in this world. Why he's standing right in front of you. Make no mistake, little girl. This is your uncle. What are you? How intriguing. This must be an act of fate. The giants from the hills here, and with them, a champion's medium. And not just any medium, one that bleeds the same blood as this body. <laughs> it's more than fate, it has to be destiny. How can I not rise to it? That answers that. He's the one who put up the threshold here. Okay. Time to see the uh, champion up here. Time to Woo! see. Yep. And also, uh, just so another version of that Ocean boss Soldier? that can capture, uh, like that can ca so make mirages unprisonable. If I'm remembering right, he doesn't have any weaknesses. He's just a. Yeah, he's just a Federation guard. Yep. Yeah. He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just a guy. <laughs> yeah, nothing special about him. Um, I think it's by Chapter 10 when pretty much every boss you're battling at that point, you're just spamming uh, Elemental Stones at him. Because uh, uh, one big thing uh, I've been... Hal, Hal and I have talked about in uh, like not recording... When we're not recording stuff... Um, I, I've been telling him about pretty much uh, with speedrunning this game 
is mostly just uh, spamming, like selling nearly all of your items and spamming elemental stones. Well, that's one way to beam it up. Uh, yeah, and also, yeah, he just showed off Magitek Beam Plus, which is the Magitek armor thing. I'm, I'm, I'm just about to show off someone else. <sighs> yes, it's time for the fucking. Oh, uh, time. All right. Oh, I thought you were summoning Sephiroth. Now you're summoning Sora. Yeah. This guy, this, this is a good one. Summon in the Kingdom Hearts. This is, gr I love this. I, I love that they reference the opening title theme for that and then drops in. Oh, this is, I love this, I love this so much. And doing the drop system stuff, and it's funny. Cause, uh, cause this, cause this was, this, the metal came out whenever 2.8 came out. Not 2.8, yeah, 2.8. And he uses Chibi Ragnarok. Uh, he also, I think, gives your party haste uh, as the secondary effect. Uh, oh, that's a third of his health right there, knocked out. Uh, so yeah, that was that was an example of one of the limited metals. Um, no, no, he casted regen. He didn't cast uh, haste. Uh, so yeah, that was one of the limited time medals that was only out for like two months, I think, before it w before it disappeared off of the PSN store. That sucks. It sucks. I don't even don't even think you get it as well, Max. I'm a, I think no, the only reason I bought it is because I actually got it originally with the original release. Uh, yeah. you, you are right about that, Hal. It is not in Maxima, from what I remember. Maxima's not. Um, because of the fact that this is a, like, uh, this, uh, because again, it's a medal that only came out specifically to celebrate the release of 2.8 because of the Dream Drop Distance HD remaster. <laughs> or the HD remake. Why are you stopping? Show me more. Man, they are, uh, this is a really Has tiny room. Has destiny aligned us? <laughs> Show! You just shot a man. Oh, hey, it's uh, Zone Seek. Ooh, so this is where we meet one of the bad guys. Yep, this is uh, this this guy is based off of Zone Seek from Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, I think okay. we mentioned it in the That's previous so part that the main villains are all based on six S but yep. away from like this. Uh this one Let's being Zone C. Yeah. That is a Did that cat just talk? That is a cat. Huh? And it just talked. Same... Well, nice that is a powerful cat. Uh, now okay, is that cat referenced from something? Uh we'll find out in just a sec. Uh, I actually don't remember off the top of my head. I do, I do but I'm, keep, I'm keeping quiet until <laughs> it's happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, the fact of that the Garuda stat- I love the, I love the Garuda statues though, because they- the it's, 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 it's details like that that make me enjoy a game more. That will not go unchallenged. Yeah. That there's no way to know the pieces are alive. I fucking love that he- I, I, I don't know why, but like- Knight in the Golden Mask, when uh, when Zone Seek is doing that whole arms cross thing, it's like Anima from uh, Ten. Like how yeah. Anima Anima's arms are chain are bound together. Whew. That was too close. Shilada, thank you. Huh? I just knew you would Oh, it's Shilada. And boy, did you prove me right. Yep, Yay. it's Shilo. Who do you call the innkeeper trick? from earlier. You are the creepy one here. Turns out she can use magic. And <sighs> turn it to a cat. Then take another look at the town. So adorable. Mm -hmm. I, I, I never know like... who she comes from, so I don't know if that's an actual oh. thing. Or... Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, again, you, you don't, you really that's don't want to play the game that? she comes from. That she's the only good, like she's the only good part about that game. If, 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 like, explain this. and Don't like, it, it, it's kind of like how uh, that one. It's it's kind of like how Shelk is in Dirge Cerberus, because Shelk is the only 
uh, rem uh, notable character from Dirge of Cerberus, in my opinion. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I thought I'd bring the lens they walked here, off the but maybe I didn't Her outfit looks like a Sailor Moon outfit, and the crazy. cat that she looked like looked like a lunar cat. Yeah. That, that's just what I thought when I first saw her. I was like, yeah, I, I, I see it. So what do we do? Uh, she's like a combo of Sailor Mercury and Chibiusa. But all we found was a yeah. lot more questions. Sorry, did you say the League of S? That's right. Oh, if that's all it is, then maybe I can help you out. You can? Oh, sure. Yeah, it, I, I noticed it like people, the top right is more Sailor Moon. Be able to get like the older me. version of Sailor Moon. I never watched the new one. one. Do you mean it? Uh, Crystal's alright. Uh, once they switched out the, the crappy CGI transformations. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I see more Sailor Mercury than Sailor Moon. So, like, what's with you and Catamorphosis? Probably people like her more. Well, no, Sailor Mercury is orange. Very long story that I don't feel like telling. But Sailor Moon is blue. I will say this. Right. Cats get around. No, 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 wait. Not Sailor Mercury. Sailor Mercury is blue. Uh, Sailor Mars is red. But it's orange. Yeah. Yep. So. I don't know my Sailor is, Scouts too well, but what are you I, I can, I can tell you that's that, I, she, I, I don't see Sailor Moon on there. I, I see Sailor Mars. But now that the League of S thing is settled, and obviously, I and then the pink air of Chibiusa. Yeah. Plus, we've got that castle, and Mom to track down along the way too. Sounds pretty good to me. From here, the best place to go next would have uh, to be the low seas. Yeah. In which case? So, uh, so we we got an introduction though to one of our one of the three big guys of World of Final Fantasy, which we already got we already got introduced to. Um, we got Zone Seek. We got. Uh, oh gosh, I, I, uh, the the plumed knight. What was that song again? Um, Tritok. Tritok. That's it. Yeah, Tritok, Zone Seek, and the third one is. Of course I will. What was it? Bahamut. So is it Bahamut? It's That's Bahamut. All right, all right. Thanks. Take care. Hey, Sherlotta. Thanks for stepping in. And they're in all help. in the way of the sure. king, of the the leader of the Bahamutian Empire. Speaking of stepping in, I don't suppose you were planning to make it up to me for trouncing on my tail. <gasps> oh, so that really was you. Gosh, I was kind of hoping you'd forget. <laughs> The magic monocle, which has no actual use. It doesn't. I it, don't think I ever used it. It's a key item, so... Uh, uh, and, uh, and also now we have Refia's champion medal and her uh, side quests. Woohoo! I like how the side quests... A, a lot of the champion side quests are like condensed in that uh, the behind the door. They're just one battle. There we go. Good job, Hal. That would you come back for that? That magazine is a reference to Final Fantasy VIII's uh, magazines. Oh really? It's also if you look at it in the uh, um, in your inventory, it also does mention that puzzle that I talked about earlier as well. Really? Really? Yep. Which which will which I'll talk about in about two parts. Oh, which chapter when it becomes eight. real. Are you in chapter eight? Damn. Yeah, um, chapter seven is very short. Another, uh, but yeah, with uh, with the magazine though, you get the occult in Final Fantasy VIII. You get the occult fan uh, magazines to get reference to get a hint towards finding an alien named Poo Poo. Yeah, it, lo it looks similar in this game. That it basically gives you reference hints to certain puzzles that might not be quite as obvious. Hat read that. Yeah. Uh, but for me, I just I just immediately just think of trying to find Poo Poo in Final Fantasy VIII. The magic the magic alien that is part of a one off side quest. And I think you get a triple triad card out of it too. I, I'd have to ask Fonz about it. At this rate, we might as well swim to the low seas. Well, you can't really blame them. They probably need every boat they've got to make ends meet. Wait, hold your chocobos. Didn't somebody Ooh, mention yes, a pirate ship, ship was and we'll be getting yeah, to uh, like one that. of my we'll be uh, we'll be getting to a pirate ship that belongs to I've got uh, one of my favorite characters from Final Fantasy V. And then 
Commodore And two parts tame. <laughs> Damn it. There's only one more part left in this session. We don't have to go in with yeah, the next part is a further part. They're oh. pirates, right? Who's gonna file a complaint? Uh, I guess. It's definitely risky, right, because but those, if we don't get our butts in here, those memory, uncle, those memory things and the arena things need really to be done. Of course, Lesser of two evils you, always gotta, you always gotta set a little bit of time to go, go do some side questing. 